How to cook the perfect steak. I'm Wally Bird, exec chef of London's Goodman Restaurants. Hi, and in this film, I'm gonna demonstrate how to prepare the perfect steak at home. For this, you will need 350 gram sirloin steak, vegetable oil, butter, sea salt, a frying pan, a knife, a chopping board, tongs, scales, and a cooling rack. Cut it. Using a good sharp knife, cut a 350 gram portion of steak, which is about the right amount for one person. Sirloin has a small amount of fat marbling running through it, and a large strip of fat on the outside, meaning it should taste succulent whether cooked rare or medium. Set your meat aside for about an hour. Season it. Pour some vegetable oil with some fine sea salt onto a plate. Take the meat and coat it evenly. Remember, always oil the steak, not the pan, to make sure we get a consistent color when we come to cook it. Fry it. Put the frying pan on a high heat for about two minutes. Once very hot, place the steak into the pan. We're after a nice caramelized color. So cook for about a minute on both sides. Then turn the meat onto the edges, crisp up the fat and seal the steak. Carry on cooking the steak by taking it for about three minutes. I like my sirloin medium, so allow about six minutes cooking time. Then, to intensify the flavor, add a knob of unsalted butter, a few sprigs of thyme, and baste the steak as it cooks for another two minutes. Keep turning the meat as it does so. Remove the steak from the pan and place it on a cooling rack. Check it. Everyone likes a steak in a certain way. To learn what rare, medium rare, medium and well done feels like, with your left hand, gently touch the tip of your thumb to the tip of your index finger. Press the flesh at the base of your thumb. That's rare. Using the same trick with the middle, it feels firmer. That's medium rare. With the ring finger, medium. And finally, the little finger shows you well done. Serve it. Once the meat has rested for about four minutes, for presentation purposes, use a sharp knife and cut the steak into two centimeter slices, and then season with salt. Add some color and crunch with a nice fresh salad, and don't forget to wash it down with a good glass of red wine. <laughs>